I'm Dr. Dang Minh Khan. And I'm Judy. Welcome to LabTech Engineering. LabTech Engineering has been building a twin screw extruder for polymer compounding for over 10 years. And we have also made a pharmaceutical twin screw extruder for the past five years. Today, it is our pleasure to present to you in this video for the first time our twin screw extrusion line for pharmaceutical and scientific applications. LabTech Engineering Pharmaceutical Extrusion Line comprises three different units, a twin screw extruder, a cooling conveyor belt, and a strain pelletizer. The parts that come in contact with pharmaceutical products and all external covers are made of stainless steel, approved for GMP pharmaceutical application. This ensures that the products maintains a safe and high quality pharmaceutical operation. The specific pharmaceutical extrusion line uses twin screw extruder that can operate at a maximum temperature of 400 degrees Celsius as requested by the customer. It has a diameter of 26 millimeters and an L by D ratio of 40. Our extruders are also available in diameters of 12, 16, 20, and 36 millimeters. The extruder cover is designed with smooth surfaces with minimal dead spaces for easy cleaning. The stainless steel covers of the barrel are also removable, providing easy access to internal components. The twin screw core rotates clockwise and can handle the speed of up to 800 RPM to handle the screw's mixing capabilities. The screw features a modular configurations with various elements such as kneading blocks, mixing elements, and conveying elements. This allows for easy interchangeability of screw elements fascinating effective mixings, meltings, and homogenization of materials. And here are the more features of the extruder. It is equipped with a closed-loop water circulating system to control the temperature of the barrel section. A torque limiter has also been incorporated to protect the screw drive system and gearbox against potential damage from excessive torque or overloading. It also has a standalone vacuum pump which is linked to the vacuum vent to effectively eliminate volatiles or water, thereby optimizing the extruder's degassing capability. We also added here a pressure transducer with 150 bar maximum pressure capacity at the extrusion die for an accurate and real-time measurement of material pressure during the process. We have the loss in waste main feeders and the loss in waste side feeders, which are controlled on the separate panels from the extruder and mounted on the free stand support so that we can easily remove and cleaning purpose. Both feeders can be used for all kinds of pharmaceutical materials, such as active pharmaceutical ingredients with primary therapeutic components for drug formulation, as well as excipients with other substances in the formulation, such as binder, filler, and lubricants. But it can also be used for running with normal thermoplastic with the intention of making the plastic approval for medical application, such as medical implant, tissue engineers, and drug delivery system. The extrusion line is fully controlled by a 10.4-inch touchscreen control panel, making it easy to operate. The program also incorporates user permission setting, ensuring that only authorized personnel can access and modify critical parameters. This prevents accidental or unauthorized changes that could impact safety or product quality. Taking a closer look at the cooling conveyor belts, our standard version is without a cooling system. But we can also have a cooling system by adding a cooling fan and options which may need it when running with high speed and high temperature. The conveyor belt is made of Teflon materials, known for its non-toxicity, easy to clean, and FDA approval for food and pharmaceutical application. The conveyor speed can be flexibly controlled by the panels placed on its backside. And over here, we have the high-speed pelletizer made from approved pharmaceutical materials. This unit is used to cut various strand materials into uniformly shaped pellets with the roller speed easily controlled at the panel. So now, let's move on to the machine operation. The raw materials, typically in the form of powder, pellet, or granules, are fit into the main 
and the side hopper of twin screw extruder. Then the extruder feeding section transport the materials into the barrels. As the draw materials moving along the heating barrel sections, they undergo compressing, mixing, and homogenization processes. At the end of the extruder, the molten polymer passes through a die, shaping it into continuous strands. The strands are carried along the Teflon belt conveyor toward the pelletizer where the rotating blades cut them into uniform pellets in fixed length of 3 mm. The pellet length can also be adjustable with our optional variable strand device. For those in need of highly adaptable twin screw extruder light, that is capable of handling wide range of materials, consistent quality controls and continued productions, our companies with over three decades of expertise in extrusion can fulfill your requirements of reliability and adherence to compliance standards. We hope this video has given you many information about LabTech Engineering's extrusion line for pharmaceutical and scientific applications. We are pleased to give you further information. You can send us an email at labtech at labtechengineering.com. Thank you for watching.